27 years after rapper Tupac Shakur was shot to death in a car in Las Vegas, a man who confessed to his involvement in the crime is behind bars. Who shot Tupac? I'm gonna keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat, bro. Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should. I think he should look out. He look out for everybody fucking else. You know, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there. Keefe D, the man who's been bragging about being involved in Tupac's death for years has finally been arrested. But it looks like this is just the tip of the iceberg because Keefe previously confessed that Diddy masterminded the whole thing and paid him $1 million to take out both Pac and Suge Knight. And according to the latest reports, Keefe might be preparing to snitch on Diddy. Diddy is said to be panicking right now because the rumored connections he had within law enforcement are no no longer there. And I feel like there is going to be a bigger story connected to Diddy soon. So could Diddy really go down with Keefe D for Tupac's murder? Let's break it down. If you could say anything to Puffy after everything you did for him, what would you say to him? I'm still here, bro. Still waiting. There has been a major development in the mystery of the 1996 incident that took away the life of the late great Tupac Shakur when a man who prosecutors allege played a role in orchestrating the incident was arrested and formally charged with murder in Las Vegas. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, who has been on investigators radar for quite some time as one of the four initial suspects, has been identified as the mastermind of the group, according to authorities. Keefe, who is currently 60 years old, was taken into custody while he was out for a stroke close to his residence on the outskirts of Las Vegas. The arrest took place just hours before prosecutors made an announcement in court revealing that a Nevada grand jury had issued an indictment against him for one count of murder with a deadly weapon. He is scheduled to appear in court next week. The jury has also decided to include a sentencing enhancement related to gang activity. And if Keefe is found guilty, this enhancement could potentially result in an additional 20 years being added to his sentence. And while Keefe is not the alleged shooter who fired the deadly shots at Tupac, Nevada law allows for individuals to be charged with a crime if they assist in its commission. So during the search conducted at Keefe's residence, authorities confiscated multiple electronic devices, such as hard drives, tablets, and laptops, as well as documents related to TV programs, documentaries, YouTube episodes, book manuscripts, and movies that revolved around Tupac's passing. Among the items seized were a copy of Vibe magazine featuring Pac and a book titled Compton Street Legend, which Keefe had co-authored. Police interest in Keefe reportedly stemmed from his appearance in the Netflix documentary series Unsolved and the subsequent release of his book, Compton Street Legend, a year later. In both the documentary and the book, Keefe suggested that he had been inside the car with the individual responsible for Pac's murder. Now, during the initial investigations, Keefe denied any involvement and had been cleared of all charges. However, in the documentary and book, he made insinuations about the events surrounding the murder. Also, back in July 2019, Keefe acknowledged his role in the passing of Tupac in an interview on Vlad TV and confirmed that he had been the passenger in the white Cadillac on the night of the incident. And though he refused to name the identities of the other individuals in the car, he confirmed that the shooter was Orlando Anderson, his nephew. He also mentioned that the shooting was in retaliation for an earlier altercation at the MGM Grand where Tupac and his crew jumped Orlando. He's coming up for me and uh, got to the light. He was to go uh, drink and smoke some weed. And he happened to be hanging out the window. He's hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. So what happens next? And we just came. And shit. I ain't gonna go into details like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got it in a book. You, you didn't play it and everything else. You know what I'm saying? But something that police are still not talking about, at least not publicly, is that Keefe also previously said that Diddy offered $1 million to the Southside Crips to take out Pac and Death Row Record CEO, Suge Knight. Former LAPD detective Greg Kading, who worked on the cases of both Tupac and Biggie Smalls, also previously publicly stated that the investigators had evidence that Diddy paid Keefe $1 million to take out Pac and Suge. In fact, there's a recording of Keefe confessing this to the investigators years ago. So Tupac's trying to jump in the back seat. And what's Shug doing? Just ducking? Ducking. He couldn't really duck because he was too big. Yeah. yeah. Keefe D has now identified his own nephew as the murderer of Tupac Shakur. 
bolstering Kifidi's claim was an informant in 1997 who told investigators that Puffy had hired the Southside Crips to kill both Suge and Tupac. Now, it's unclear why it took them 27 years to arrest Kifi, considering his confession and the fact that he's been willingly and openly talking about his involvement on every podcast that would have him. Well, the internet and its theories on this and fans are speculating that the authorities wanted to make sure Kifi would be willing to snitch on the real alleged mastermind, Sean Diddy Combs. So for the longest time, the prevailing theory was that Pac was eliminated because he and his crew beat up Southside Crip and Keefe D's nephew Orlando Anderson after that Mike Tyson fight in Vegas and that all these other stories about Diddy and Biggie were just conspiracy theories. Many people believed that when Diddy said he was putting a $1 million bounty on Tupac, he was just trying to stir the pot. And then Keefe D later used this to implicate Diddy in Pac's case. Now, Orlando and Keefe both knew Diddy and Biggie and did security for them. And the reason Diddy would use Keefe D as security was because Diddy was allegedly convinced he was one of the few Compton shot callers that Suge would would not F with. Now, the reason Tupac jumped Orlando is because Orlando reportedly stole a death row medallion from Trevon Lane, a death row affiliate and alleged gang member. And the reason he stole it was because Diddy apparently wanted a death row chain to taunt Suge with in his next music video. So Tupac's murder could have been just a random act of violence that went wrong. And yet, it's possible that this case is a lot less complicated than people are making it because gang members take out others for a lot less. But there are still many fans who are convinced none of this was random, and they believe that when Diddy offered $1 million to Keefe to take out Chug and Pac, he wasn't joking around. Now, when Keefe D talked about all this in interviews, he always made it sound like Diddy was just spouting off, and that they didn't take it super seriously. But now that Keefe has been arrested and charged, people are speculating that the authorities may have finally discovered a paper trail connecting Diddy's $1 million offer to Tupac's case. Keefe also previously said he never received the $1 million because he never got to talk to Diddy after Pac's murder. So the whole story about Diddy putting a bounty on Pac's head was just a he said, she said with no actual proof. But see, there is apparently evidence that Diddy gave the money to an intermediary, Eric Von Zip, and Keefe said Von Zip used the bounty money to open a nightclub instead of passing it to the Southside Crips. Again, until now, all of this was just another story, and the police probably couldn't find any real proof that Diddy's offer of $1 million directly led to Tupac's death. But as I said, it's very interesting that they snatched Kifi now, and it really makes you wonder if they have something up their sleeve that could lead to Diddy's downfall. Also, have you noticed there have been some pretty weird vibes around Diddy for the past few months or so? I remember seeing a tweet about a month ago where this person said that something was gonna come out soon about Diddy because Diddy was giving his former bad boy artists their publishing rights, and he reportedly made them all sign NDAs in exchange for their masters. Now, as for Diddy, he never actually addressed Kifi's allegations, and when he was asked about this on The Breakfast Club, he said he didn't even want to entertain the nonsense. Now, it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we're not even going to even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. <laughs> Thank you. Because, you, listen, seven years ago, I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to keep back? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's no Which sense. we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. But I don't know, y'all. Diddy didn't even let Charlemagne finish the question. He cut him off so quickly. And then the way he was rubbing his head nonstop. Anyways, guys, it's going to be really interesting to see what comes up in Keefe D's trial. And you already know I'll keep you posted on everything. In the meantime, check out what the internet is saying about Diddy's alleged connection to Tupac's case. One person said, if they charge Diddy and Tupac's murder, that would be the greatest day on this app. My phone actually might catch fire. But another fan wrote, not y'all waiting on the downfall of Diddy, LMFAO. I just don't see this happening. They would be trying to convict strictly off hearsay at this point. But let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think Diddy could actually go down for Pac's murder? Comment down below and don't miss out on this next video.